Okay, pet parents, let's teach you what a heart murmur is. Oh God, that's not good. Wait, what, what, what's not good? Am I dying? No, my stethoscope's starting to break. So if you've heard your vet mention a murmur before, all we're talking about is a different sound when the heart beats. So if you think of the classic heartbeat sound, lub dub, then a murmur is just a little whooshing noise between the lub and the dub. And I like to describe it as, it kind of sounds like somebody shushing you between beats. Lub, shh, dub. Or it sounds like somebody's turning on a fan. Lub, dub. Now at the end of the day, when we hear a murmur, all we're hearing is what's called turbulent blood flow. This is your captain speaking. We are uh, hitting oh, a little bit of turbulence, on, no, so man, if you could man, uh, I'll, I'll fasten your seatbelt, let's I'll hope we survive this. Which just means blood is not flowing through the heart as smoothly as it should. Murmurs can be innocent, meaning there's no underlying disease leading to it, like some puppies and kittens will have an innocent murmur that they grow out of, or some stressed out cats with a super fast heart rate will have a murmur, but they can also be an indication of a ton of different cardiac diseases, and sometimes we can use the location of the murmur, the intensity and type of murmur, to try and determine what kind of disease might actually be present. If a murmur is caused by actual heart disease, one of the more common culprits is going to be something a lot of you may have heard your vet refer to as a leaky valve. What that means is in the heart, there are these things called valves, and they're basically just doors in the heart, and they look a little bit like that, which bears absolutely no resemblance to a car brand I've ever heard of. And these valves function like this. When the heart beats, they open to let blood go forward, and then they close to prevent blood from going backwards against the natural flow. A leaky valve, more often than not, it's gonna mean when the valve is closing, it leaves a little bit of a gap, and through that gap, blood can rush backwards, causing the whooshing sound that we hear. Or sometimes what will happen is when the door opens, as it's closing, blood will sneak back, causing that whooshing sound. When we're talking about location of a heart murmur, all we're talking about is where on the chest our stethoscope is when we actually hear the murmur. And through decades of very intense training with Shaolin monks high up in the mountains, veterinarians are able to learn what parts of the heart we can hear when our stethoscope is on different points of the chest. Murmur intensity just means how loud the murmur is and we grade it on a scale of one to six. With a grade one being the softest. Grade six being the loudest. Now I want all the cardiologists out there to just breathe for a hot second because when I talk about the type, I'm not gonna go over the decrescendos and the decrescendos, I'm just gonna stick to the basics. In terms of type of murmur, there's three basic types of murmurs that I'm gonna talk about. There's a systolic murmur, there's a diastolic murmur, and then there's a continuous murmur. A systolic murmur is when we hear the swishing sound between the lub and the dub of the same beat. So lub, sh, dub, lub, sh, dub. A diastolic murmur is when we hear the murmur between the dub of one beat and the lub of another beat. So lub, dub, sh, lub, dub, sh, lub, dub, sh. And a continuous murmur is when we just hear it all the time. So to sum everything up, a heart murmur is just an abnormal wishing sound that we hear as the heart beats that may or may not be an indication of heart disease.